So this is question two, National 5 specimen paper. We're asked to multiply out these brackets and collect like terms. So 2x plus 3, that's in the first bracket, and we multiply x squared minus 4x plus 1 by that. Now, explanation is going to involve a little bit of colour. So let's start with that. And let's use green. So your first move is to multiply each term in the right hand bracket by the term 2x. So 2x times x squared, 2x times negative 4x, 2x times 1. So let's do that. 2x times x squared, let's just write that out, there's 2 times x, times x squared, that's x squared, so there's 2 and x cubed, 2x cubed, that's 2x times x squared. Let's now do 2x times negative 4x, 2 times x, times negative 4 times x, negative 4x. So 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. x times x is x squared. So it's negative 8 times x squared minus 8x squared. And let's do 2x times positive 1. 2x times 1. That's just 2x. Now let's continue doing this, but this time we now do the second term, the positive 3 times the x squared, positive 3 times the negative 4x, and positive 3 times the positive 1. So let's sort that lot out. So 3 times x squared, 3 times x squared, that's just 3x squared. Now let's just write it down. It's, there's no negative in there, so it's a plus 3x squared. Second, let's do positive 3 times the negative 4x, positive 3 times the negative 4 times the x. Well, that's negative 12, 3 times negative 4x, negative 12x. And I'll write that down here. And then finally, 3 times the positive 1. So 3 times 1 is just 3. So there's plus 3. So that's your 3 times x squared, 3 times negative 4x, 3 times the positive 1. And we have to, as it said, collect like terms. Well, there's only one term in x cubed, and it happens to be two lots of x cubed. There are two terms involving x squared. There's minus 8 of them, plus 3 of them. And if you, you draw your number line, um, Remember, minus 8 plus 3, going 3 to the right, starting at uh, minus 8, will give you minus 5. So minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5. So negative 8x squared plus 3x squared will give you minus 5x squared. And then 2x minus 12x, again, let's do this in the number line, there's 0. So 2x... 2 of them, minus 12, will get to minus 10. So that's minus 10x. And there's a plus 3 sitting at the end. So these two terms combine to give you this. These two terms, two x terms, combine to give you this. So your final result is 2x squared, 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 10x plus 3. Four terms. This is a cubic highest term in x is 3. So these two brackets have been now multiplied out. There are six multiplications, 2x times each of these three, and 3 times each of these three. Six terms altogether. The x squareds combine, and the x terms combine 
to give you these two terms. So four term expression at the end of that.